All right, here we go, everyone. My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm an artist. And here we go. This is going to be a painting session that I'm going to do. Let's get it right there. There we go. Okay, so what I'm going to paint for you guys right now is going to be a, a jar, okay, with a little mesa jar, pickle jar, I don't know, something like that. Let's call it a jar, okay? So what I like to do first is draw it. All right, I'm going to draw it very lightly. It doesn't have to be, this is still, this is still a loose brush. Um, but it'll be it'll be very lightly drawn as you can see right here look. well I guess not so lightly huh? I'm mean, applying some uh, some pressure there but you get the point so that I can have so that I can have the the idea there right the main idea is which really what I'm, what I'm looking for and then in there This is the beauty of loose brush work. That you let you let your creative juices sort of just flow and it gives you all kinds of ideas, man. It gives you all kinds of different perspectives and, and depending on how much you play with it, the colors you use. It allows for so much play in there. Now, as I, as I mentioned before, painting glass is very, is very easy. I, I know there's a lot of people out there that disagree with me. This is just, these are just my beliefs, guys. This, this doesn't mean that it was written in some tablet 10,000 years ago, okay? These are just my beliefs. These are based on, based on my experiences. I believe painting glass is very simple because you're really just painting the surroundings. You're, you're painting the atmosphere around it, right? So when you're painting glass, and you don't know what the atmosphere the atmosphere around it well it's very simple because it could be anything right it could be anything you can make it up if you want to that's why it's so simple i'm gonna switch my brush here i like i'd like to ask you guys a question and i know that we're in the video here but let me know if you guys would like to see some videos um full videos of me explaining everything away. Uh, in the past, I've been very, um, not really paying attention, you know, been very self-serving, really. Um, not really paying attention to the needs of, of artists. And as time has gone by, I realized, man, I've been, I've, been, I've, been an, I've been an idiot, you know? I have not been paying attention to the needs of the artists, right? A lot of artists out there really need help with different stuff that I do, and I haven't been I haven't been sharing that with you guys. So I'm gonna start changing that now, and uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm getting older. <laughs> maybe I'm getting a little bit wiser. Who knows? I, I don't know. I don't know about wiser, but but uh, I certainly don't just want you guys to get the idea that. That I'm just this self-serving artist that is just creating artwork and and not really sharing anything. Uh, I would hate for that to I would hate to go down that way. And so I want to be able to share as much as possible of what I know with other artists. You know, uh, there's plenty of stuff out there that. Maybe because I'm learning the, the hard way. There's plenty of stuff out there that artists are sharing that it's just, it's just very, I don't know. I, I, I don't like a lot of the stuff that it's been, you know, thrown into the, into the art ecosystem. I don't like it. It's, it's, it's very antiquated and, uh, and I feel like it doesn't really help the, the modern artist. 
So rather than me just showing up and reminding everyone how I am the world's greatest living artist. By the way, I still am. This doesn't change anything. <laughs> but what I am going to change is, is the way I'm going to teach. Okay? The way I'm going to share. And, and, and I'm going to start teaching my, my insights in a whole different light. And uh, I'm calling this period my second awakening. The first, the first awakening uh, that I had as an artist was... Oh my God! I'm I'm I I got the handle of creating artwork every day, and I'm this artist, right? And in your face, sort of thing, right? Everybody can see I'm I'm so good at what I do. I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna remind everyone how excited I am about how I, I you know how I'm able to show up every day and create artwork and on and on and on. Well, that was great. It served its purpose. But now I'm in a place where, where I believe that it's time to help. Right? Not, just, not just be a self-serving artist, but it's, it's time to help. It's time to start helping other artists. And so that's what I'm going to start doing from now on. And I know I mean, I, I've helped lots of artists in different ways, but for the most part, I've I've been very or acting right many times as if as if I'm too busy and and I don't have time and and you know some artists have asked me questions about tutorials or different stuff like that, and I'm like, well, you know, uh, go figure it out yourself, sort of sort of thing. And and granted, I'm I'm trying to run a small business. As an artist, um, but you know, I just came to this realization that it's 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 all shit if I don't help other people. You know, it's all shit if I don't really provide quality service. It's all shit. So that's what I'm doing now, and uh, I hope you guys can join me in this part of my my je ne sais quoi which is going to still be super awesome. The awesomeness is not going away, but it's also going to be super helpful, I believe. So there it is, guys. Let me show you. This little jar right there. Again, my name is Jose Trujillo. I'm an artist and this is a little oil and canvas, oil and canvas 9 by 12 inches painting. You can find it on, uh, on my eBay shop. I'm going to put a link below here if you want to go and take your chances on, on the auction. And it's pretty cool. Thank you so much everyone. Take care and I'll talk to you soon.